our road trip. We're uh, the moment we're in London, and while we're in London, we're going to pop down to our Kent Depot. Just have a little look and see what's going on down there um, in the new year. So, so how is everybody in the new year? What we're we going to do in 2023? Okay, a lot of doom and gloom in the news, and the newspapers, and the radio. About we're going to recession, we're going into this. Well, yes, we probably are, but you know what? We can't give up, we've got to make it work. And apparently, there are more millionaires made in recessions than in the good times. So, how true that is, I don't know. But um, I was reading, listening to some um, videos uh, over YouTube videos over Christmas from a uh, an entrepreneur called James Sinclair. Um, very knowledgeable chap, very, very likeable chap, very full of energy and full of enthusiasm. And he made this point that he said he's just going to opt out of the recession and um, just crack on. And I thought, what a positive attitude. Opt out, crack on, let's get the job done. So, yeah, you know, got to make it happen. So, you've got to look on the positive side, not the negative side. So, uh, so what are your plans? What are people doing for 2023? So in the comments below, please give us your thoughts. Give us your ideas, give us your plans. Tell us what you're gonna do, okay? Are you being positive? Are you being negative? Tell us, we'd like to, like to read it. It's good, it's good reading, it's good educational reading. So anyway, I'm going to crack on to Kent and um, I'll update you more when we get there. We're here in our Kent Depot. Now, last time I was here, you'll um, remember we did a little bit of a tour and about the fact that we were going to refurbish um, our shop here and make it bigger. So uh, I'm here now and uh, just going to show you a quick look at what we've changed. Here's the shop as you walk in the door. Now, what I will say to you is the shop is nowhere near complete stock-wise. Um, everything's been moved around to do the work here. But um, this is what we've now achieved. Um, the count has been extended. This this was this was not here before, so we put this all in. So this is now going to be shelved out and racked out. And there's a mixer there that's uh, been refurbished. It's uh, going off. We put a window in here so that we can see into the workshops and public and our and our staff can see if anybody walks in the shop. So it does look a bit messy. Don't please don't uh, just what we see. In the next few days, we're going to come down here and blitz this. And get down. Um, stock stock start to arrive. More chrome start to arrive. Even the John Deere toys and um, all sorts of stuffs arriving here. We're going to get it decked out properly, and um, we'll go from there. Mark's been down in the lorry today. He's brought stuff in. We've got a lot of uh, access platforms here that have just arrived. Um, these will be going through the workshop and um, refurbished. Saturday morning in the workshop. Um, lots going on as usual. And uh, as well as uh, the workshop makeover, we're giving our service van in Lincolnshire a quick makeover. Well, Paul is, he's walking away now, look, there he goes. Look. Um, so we gave him a little bit of a job description this morning, what we wanted him to do. And I popped out to buy a few bits and pieces and I've come back and uh, I've come back and Paul's well on the way. The wheels are off, the tires are all stripped off the wheels. Paul's got a grinder in his hand, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> For the bad Paul, it's a compressor. <laughs> so the idea, the idea is to get the van a major overhaul inside. So we're stripping everything out. Um, all the shelves are going to be emptied out. The brush is coming out, the tool boxes are coming out. We've got some, another tool box to go in it. We've got some resin to put on the floor, which we're not quite sure how how good that is, but the idea is it's like a wipe clean resin. So we'll um, see how that goes. And uh, we'll update you with the uh, ongoing progress of our van. He's making lots of noise. As soon as I go filming, he makes noise. I'm doing it my best side. Best. Have I got a best side? Oh, Every best side. side. <laughs> We're busy now. Putting, um, Starting to get the stores sorted out here for our own staff. Um, 
So we're labeling up bins, or will be in a minute. Cable ties, different sizes, different bins. Um, so we've got a, a location for them. So it's a bit Saturday morning. Go, go, go. Right, it's Saturday evening. The work carries on. Now as part of our new office, in the office in the workshop that you saw earlier, we need a little bit of furniture. So we've come on a bit of an adventure to Ikea. Now, no one ever goes to Ikea and just buys one item, do they? This could end very, very badly. The best side again. Michelle's come along. She likes Ikea, don't you? Yep. So, we are busy, it's Saturday night. Do you have some quite cool things here in Ikea, I have to say. Very, very well laid out presentation store. Very easy to get carried away here spending money. Luckily, I'm good at not spending money. Michelle, on the other hand, she does like to spend it. This IKEA shopping piece of cake over halfway round, and look what's in the trolley. It's easy, man. It's easy. We got this. We got this. Right, the trip to IKEA. It was a success. So Saturday evening wasn't wasted. We've got some units for our little office here. So we're gonna need some more things to decorate them with. Just need a little clean. Need, needs a clean, needs a clean. And there's gonna be a big TV goes above it for the CCTV, but this was the, this was the furniture from Ikea. So we also bought a couple of red clocks for our tea room, um, so that our guys don't mistakenly take too long a tea break. Um, just thinking of them, because you know, they want them to, um, not by error, overrun. As, as any good boss I think would probably like to do. Um, but anyway, so IKEA was a success. Thanks for watching this video. Please um, press the subscribe button, put the thumbs up, ring the little bell, you know you know the full works. Um, and any comments you have. Um, you've seen the videos now recently of our, of our little office, of, our, of our, how we're reproaching our workshop. Um, any thoughts you have, any ideas that you think we could, ha you have that would make our workshop a better place to work? Um, what equipment do you think we're missing in the workshop? We'd love to hear. We'd love to hear the comments. So please put them in the comments below, and um, we'll certainly read them and we'll certainly respond to you. So thanks for watching.